welcome back to all of those that are returning. I really do appreciate it. And for all of you new people, I'm so excited to see you. Today's video is going to be quick and easy because it's just going to be quick and easy. But we're going to be using floral wire, some beads, and some rocks. Can you guess what we're going to make? Huh? Huh? Can you? Can you? Can you? Seriously, we're going to make two crafts though. The first one, we're going to make a candle snuffer. The second one, it's a surprise. I'll fill you in whenever we get to it. So, to get you started, kind of, so that you understand what it's going to look like or what it's going to be similar to, it's going to look very similar to this. And I have several that I've already made and some that some friends of mine have made. So, you're asking yourself, why not just blow the candle out? It's simple. You don't have to have this. Well, have you ever lit a candle and it smelled so perfect? Gorgeous, gorgeous tones. And you blow it out. What happens? It stinks. Let's be real. It stinks. That's because what you're smelling is the wick. The wick burning. So if you actually snuff the candle, then you'll be able to enjoy the aroma of the candle and not burning wick. So, let's get started. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get you some floral wire. I get mine at the Dollar Tree. It's thick and it works amazing. You're going to figure out about the length that you want it. You can make these as many different lengths as you want. So, we're just going to make this one a fairly short one. Use, I got these, um, this is part of a jewelry making kit that I picked up at Walmart several years ago. It's very old and rusted, but it still works. It has wire cutters and it has the rounded tip. If you don't have these, you can use a pair of needle nose pliers, works just as well. These wire, this um, floral wire, it actually, if you bend it enough, it just comes across it breaks off easily all right so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a loop so you're going to take your little tool here make sure you guys can see and you're just going to bend this up kind of curl it up to where it makes a loop now what this loop is for is for the wick what you're going to use it for is you're going to hold on to it up here and you're going to take that little loop. Can you see that? That little loop right there. And then you're going to take the wick and pull the wick down into the melted wax and then lift it back up with that loop. So the reason why we've done that first is because we're going to add beads. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can just leave it like this. But I like to decorate mine. So I brought out my handy dandy case of beets. And I also got some wood beads. Now you're probably thinking, really, wood beads? You're going to be sticking this thing into an open flame. I got you. What you can do is you can actually put a small bead, if you want, that will stop like right up in this area. Or you could just do another little loop right here, which is what I'm going to do. So you can actually turn it, creating another. And sometimes it's easier to use your fingers than it is this tool. Like I said, it bends really easily. So now you can see we have two loops. This loop will keep the beads from coming down into this area, which is actually the part that's going to go down inside the candle. Now, beads, beads, beads. I have all kinds of, I don't know if you guys can, if I can hold this up without spilling all of them. I have beads of every color. I have like three of these things completely full. 
So you just add your beads, whatever color you want. Now, the thing about these is some of these are actually way too small. The hole is way too small to go on this thick wire. This is thick wire, so I want to actually use these wooden beads. Hopefully, I don't toss them everywhere as I'm trying to open them, but you never know. And we're just going to pour some out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these larger beads just to show you guys how to do this because I do have several of these already. And doot, doot, doot. Y'all like my doot, doot? <laughs> okay. So once you've got, you don't want to fill your, the tops, the top of your um, wire up all the way because you're going to want to create some kind of a handle. So, um, do I want to do that? I think I do. I'm actually going to do a couple of the smaller beads on the very, very top, just because I didn't want it to be too far. So now you're going to take, and I like to just do another spiral, and you're just going to keep twisting, and twisting, using your fingers to kind of guide And then once you get it started, you may even be able to just use your fingers to kind of bend it. And voila. It took me all of about mm, two, three minutes, I would say. At the most, five minutes, if you really wanna get intricate with some of the designs that you're making. Like I said, I have several of these, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial. So, we're going to pretend like this candle, is a real candle, is lit. Ooh, hot, hot, no, I'm just kidding, it's not on. So, this candle is lit, you're gonna take and you're gonna take this wick and you shove it down into the melted wax and then just lift it back up. Easy peasy. Really easy. So I have this one now. I have the first one that I showed you all, which is this one. And you can get really fancy with these. You can add little charms. You can use different colored um, wire. For instance, this one. This one is a little bit flimsier, but this has the rainbow wire. And then this one. And then I made this smaller one. Like I said, you can add little charms. And this is for my little bitty candles. And then my favorite, my best friend, made this for me. See how good she done? I absolutely love this one. So you can get really intricate with the beading and very decorative. And that, my friends, is how you make your very own candle snuffer. We all have rocks sitting around everywhere, different rocks. You can also use larger stones. This is a big chunk of citrine. What you can do is take your wire, stretch it out again. I think I want 
to, okay. So you're going to wrap your wire around your stone really tightly. Now, sometimes I will actually wrap mine twice because like I said, this wire is kind of flimsy. I'm gonna sit this down here for a second. Make sure it's on there really good. Straighten your wire out. And then you're going to cut it. And you're going to take your tool again and you're gonna make two loops this time, but you're gonna make those um, front to back, I guess. So almost like a like a corkscrew kind of a situation. Okay. I think this will work. If not, just play with it. The the wire is really easy and flexible. So you've got this. And then you can, this works better when your pictures are, um, what is this, landscape instead of portrait. But, silly me, I printed off portrait size. But portrait will work. And then you just put it in there, in between the two loops. You squeeze those together. And then you can take and bend your wire to where where it holds the picture exactly the way you want the picture to be displayed. Just like that. So now I get to display my picture and use my citrine. Let me hold this up so that you guys can see. Just like this. You can do this with large rocks. You can do this with the smaller rocks. I have done this one. And I've done this one. And you can set these on your mantle, your bedside table. And this is a great way to incorporate crystals into your decor or just regular pebbles or rocks. You want to have one that's a good chunky size, though, so that, just so that it has some weight to kind of hold everything together. And there you go. Two crafts that takes just a couple of minutes, less than five minutes, with nothing but floral wire, some rocks, and a pair of needle nose pliers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, make, well, we'll do that one in a minute. Just make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of the videos. And I hope to see you guys again next time.